So parking downtown in Toronto for nine dollars Canadian. Only available on weekends. Check. And I just pick up this uh, think tank uh, shoulder bag. I had it before, and I'm heading out with um, with. Uh, let me show you guys with the uh, Nikon D7500 and 24mm 1.8 and also I just stopped at uh, Henry's where I bought the bag also I bought 85mm 1.8 which is in my uh, backpack let's go do some street photography maybe I'll see some uh, interesting buildings I'm gonna go to the lake uh, maybe shoot some boats the weather today is nice it's almost uh, I don't know, almost 50 F, which is much warmer than it was a couple of days ago. Let's go. So basically the trick I'm now doing is that I do a simultaneous video recording and and then I take the pictures. As I'm recording the video, I'm taking the pictures of the same scene. And I think it can work pretty cool because photography you kind of like you kind of like freezing the moment, you know? At the same moment that you see as a video and then you freeze the moment as uh as uh, photography of course the trick is um, it's not always possible to hold a camera in my hand so sometimes I try to find a place where I can put the camera and I'm using a small tripod uh, from GoPro so it has uh, three legs so I can quickly open them and put the tripod somewhere um, where it's gonna be stable and then I start shooting you know that's the new before I used to carry the GoPro on my head, but then people, for some reason, you know, they kind of look at you funny. So it's much easier to uh, to do this 
So carry the GoPro in your hand and then uh, take pictures with, uh, with the camera. By the way, I wanted to show you guys, I got the same bag I had before. It's a pretty expensive bag, uh, think tank, but I found that this one works beautiful for, you know, street photography, but uh, because I don't like carrying my camera on a, on a strap. So I put this on my shoulder and then it's pretty easy to get the camera out, you know? And I had this one before, just I sold it when I sold the previous camera. But this one was like 120 bucks Canadian, but it's beautiful, you know, you can put the camera with the small lens and then there's enough room to put another camera like this. Uh, let me show you, I just got this, my second lens, so the first lens is this one, the 24 1.8, and then the second lens I got today is uh, this, this one. is uh, Nikon 85 millimeter 1.8 I used this before it's beautiful it uh, colors are great sharpness is excellent and on a crop sensor camera this uh, results in 127 millimeters so basically now I have effective I got 24 millimeters becomes 35 and 85 becomes 127 so I got 35 35 and and uh, 127 and that's perfect you know? so maybe I should try this one uh, yeah let's try this one gonna switch from 35 to 127 it's very small easy to carry perfect very very indiscreet so now the 85 millimeter goes back to my my big uh, my big backpack and that's an expensive lens you know, that one is like 950 dollars uh, Canadian this one is just you know 500 600 after tax which is which is perfect Now, so the, yeah, the plan is basically to point the camera somewhere, and then I find that I use, I can use my. Um, see, I'll show you. See, I can do like this. I can open my screen, and then I switch to. Oh, sorry. And then I switch to like this, you know, and I can do. And I can use live view and people don't even know that I'm shooting a picture, you know? And by the way, just a few words about the, um, about the settings. I tried manual, manual with auto ISO. Uh, and I put in one, 500 one five hundredth of a second with the 5.6 aperture and then you know that auto ISO not always works perfect and so I switched to shutter priority and I just left 500th of a second but then I noticed that the camera would uh, use uh, very very uh, big aperture like uh, you know low number and so the the field of sharpness was not very big and so finally I went back to uh, let me show you here I went back to manual so you see now I have one five hundredth of a second with f8 and auto ISO well it's 
shows this big because my my lens is now covered but normally it's fine
All right, I stopped by the photography store, so I bought this thing over here. Right, so this just goes in here. Second piece. They didn't have the one from the GoPro, so I got one from. Uh, I got a kit from Joby, but it's the same idea. So basically, you need the tripod mount adapter. Okay, now let's see if this if this little bolt will will work. sits on top of a camera so now I don't, have, I don't have to hold this in my left hand which is pretty cool picture <laughs> the last last picture of the day my car and one thing I noticed one thing I noticed right away with this little gadget on the top that people people notice me, you know, right away. Before I was not that conspicuous. But so it can still work. I did capture a couple of couple of interesting images. I'm gonna choose the best on the computer and then I will do I'm pretty tight in here. And then I will do a video. put it on my youtube channel so thanks guys and boys and gals for checking out my channel of course this is not the major topic this is just occasional stuff i do uh you know when i'm not trucking because i'm a trucker so but you know we all have uh many interests right 
and mine is just you know because I always do videos so on top of video I'm also interested in uh, photography landscape general automotive trucking uh, wildlife but for now as you saw I only have two lenses so 24 millimeter 1.8 and 85 millimeter 1.8 thanks for watching take care